Ariel Hawani and Jay Mariotti for FanHouse.com at the 2010 Winter Olympic Games, where tragedy struck early Friday morning when 21-year-old Nodar Kumari Tashvili from the former Soviet Republic of Georgia crashed and then died during a practice run in Luge. And Jay, this is obviously horrible news to start these games. A lot of people are saying now that Georgia should pull out of the games. Your quick thoughts. I don't think they will. Jacques Rogue, the IOC president, spoke earlier. He expressed confidence that, that Georgia will participate. I think they can do that in the honor of, of the fallen athlete. But just a horrific way to start these games. Uh, and a lot of us right now are, are, are discussing and analyzing the, the, the fact that this course was built way too difficult. It's a very dangerous track. There have been crashes all week, people being airlifted out of there. Uh, the athletes compare this to being crash test dummies. Uh, what what gives? What why are we trying to be so difficult? We, you know, between Sean White and what's going on, uh, you know, on that hill in his crash recently, we're we're just it's becoming too dangerous. The Olympic Games, and we don't want to turn this into into death sport. And today we had that. Yeah, many losers, as you mentioned, have complained. So the other question is, should they just cancel the luge events, or maybe? do the appropriate steps in order to make sure that it is safe. Competition is supposed to begin Saturday night. Please, we cannot have that competition go on. Are you going to fix this thing in a matter of, uh, you know, 30 hours? Uh, we, we can postpone that event, and they should. Uh, an investigation is ongoing. Uh, I think it's going to focus quite a bit on, on the Canadians, the fact that the Canadians have been so protective uh, and not they haven't wanted other athletes from other countries to use their training facilities because they're trying to win these games. It's been an early theme here that Canada wants to win the games. That's not very Olympian, and some of these luge athletes have complained that they haven't had enough time on that particular track, which, which adds to the budding controversy here as to why that track is, is so difficult, why it drops 152 meters, the, the longest drop ever in that sport, why? We're asking on the day of the games, why, instead of celebrating the opening of the games, it's tragic. People have called this a death sport now, so for those that don't know much about luge, what can be done to improve the sport so something like this never happens? Well, it does it have to be 93, 94 miles an hour? I mean, uh, you know, he was going about 88 because he had crashed earlier and was trying to go slower and he still died. What, why uh, must speeds be 91, 92, 93? Why must we have that drop so steeply? Uh, wh what gives here? We're, we're trying to push this sport uh, beyond safety at this point. You have to make it safe. Uh, and, and, you know, on the, on the ski hill, for instance, just nothing but rain and slop, and they've decided to postpone the, uh, the, the women's competition on Sunday. It would have been Lindsey Vaughn's first competition. They're postponing that. I think I'd be surprised if Bodie Miller and the downhill went on tomorrow morning because all it does here is rain. In fact, it's raining right now. This is uncharted territories for the Winter Olympics. Uh, there have been deaths in practice runs, but never before has uh, a death happened so close to the games in an actual competition. This wasn't an actual competition. It was a practice run. What do you think needs to be done now? The, the, the opening ceremonies are just a few hours away. Should they postpone that? How are you going to celebrate the opening of the games? It's going to have to be a somber event. I'm sure they will have a, a, a long moment of silence beforehand, and it's going to temper the enthusiasm for this. Canada is trying so hard to put on games that will define it for the future, and already we've had nothing but, but controversy, and now we've had a fatality, and the games haven't even started yet. So uh, there have been people in the media who have thought that maybe this ceremony should be canceled or postponed itself, because again, how in the world are we going to be in a party atmosphere in a couple of hours with this pall hanging over the games? No matter what happens in the next two weeks, will this incident define the 2010 Winter Olympics? Largely. We'll, we'll see what else. I mean, there is an opportunity for athletes such as Apollo Ono and Sean White and, and Shawnee Davis and certainly many Canadian athletes, including Canadian hockey team, that have a chance athletically to define it. But certainly, uh, as you mentioned, never have we had a fatality this close to the games. I mean, you really have to go back to Munich in 72 with the hostage situation Th that doesn't necessarily compare to this, but, but certainly it has been mentioned in stories uh, today. It's, it's just a, a dreadful way to start the games. And, and I hope Jacques Rogue 
means it when he says we're going to get to the bottom of this because he shot down a question immediately about safety. He said this is not the time and the place to answer those questions. Yes, it is the time and the place to answer those questions. So overall, I know it's just been a couple of hours. You have not been all that happy with the way he's dealt with this situation? I, I wish he would have answered that question. What, what, what do you mean? You know, I, I don't need him to put down the journalist. I need him to answer why this track is too dangerous. This is not the time or the place. People are demanding answers in Georgia. Uh, that family wants answers, and he says it's not the time or the place. That, that's a weak answer. It reminds me of Bud Selig, the baseball commissioner. Well, it is certainly a tragic situation. As of right now, we do not know if Georgia will remain in the games. We do not know whether or not the luge competition will continue, but we'll be monitoring the situation right here at fanhouse.com. For Jay Mariotti, I'm Ariel Hawani.